Hello and welcome live from Tehran. This is Press TV's World News. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, the first story this hour takes us to Canada. In the wake of Quebec's elections, a gunman shot dead a man and badly injured another at a separatist speech. Now, the shooting took place at the Montreal Theatre, where separatist leader Pauline Murat was giving a speech after a now-election win. Bodyguards rushed her from the stage as she later returned to the podium to finish her speech. Police say a man around 50 years old has been arrested. Now the suspect also allegedly set fire to the back of the building. Murat heads the separatist party Quebecois, which wants independence for the French-speaking province of Quebec. Well, let's switch over to Calgary, joined by Press News correspondent Joshua Blakeney. Disturbing news coming out of Quebec. Uh, Joshua, tell us, what do you have on that story? Yes, uh, Pauline Marois was giving her victory speech, having uh, won a, an election and, and to form a minority government. Uh, it was only a slight victory over the uh, previously ruling Liberal Party. And as she was giving a victory speech to her mostly um, French uh, francophone audience, uh, the shots rang out in the uh, stadium, and uh, she had to be rushed from the stage, as you uh, stated. And it turns out there was an individual who seemed to have uh, sympathy to uh, the more uh, Anglo, you know, English faction. He screamed out, uh, "The English are, are awakening!" Uh, in French, uh, "Les Anglais se réveillent" is what he said in French. The English are are, are awakening, and uh, indeed, uh, that was his uh, goal: was to show her that. The, uh, the, the French uh, separatism is not supported in its entirety, and this has led to uh, a, a death, as you stated, and uh, someone who is uh, gravely wounded. And I think this is an uh, indication that the politics in Quebec is highly polarized, where you have a, a, a traditional faction that obviously um, embraces their French heritage and would vote for somebody like uh, Pauline Mawa, and then you also have uh, people who want to see Quebec stay in the framework of Canada, who view themselves as Canadians. And so you see this clash happening. Of course, um, there's always speculations about, what, you know, was the lone gunman working on his own? I noticed when the police, I, I, I've been watching the footage of the police escorting the gunman away, and they seem to be pulling his mask on his, onto his face uh, to conceal his face. Now, the Quebec police were exposed uh, in, I think, 2005 at, uh, at having uh, infiltrated with Asian provocateurs at a protest in Montebello and were causing violence and disturbance pretending to be anarchists, and it turned out it was the police, and they had to apologize. So we've seen kind of false flag incidents arise uh, in Quebec in the past, and so the question will become, was it just a, a lone gunman? Was it just someone working autonomously, or was it some kind of uh, political maneuvering? Obviously, there's a lot of vested interest in, you know, deciding the fate of Quebec. It's a highly uh, resource-rich uh, part of the world with diamonds and oil and gas, and indeed the Charest government at his plan north to develop the resources in the north of Quebec. So there's a lot of vested interest in either seeing Pauline Mawa come to power or seeing more Pauline Mawa not, not attend to power and not uh, attain separatism. And so these turf wars that go on within different ethnic groups, within different political factions, uh, often rear their heads. In, and in this case, it's been uh, it, it with a shooting, which has is, which is, uh, slain uh, one member of the audience that, who was celebrating the, uh, the premiership of Okay. Well, thank you so much for that update, Joshua Blakeney out uh, of Calgary. And of course, viewers, we're going to be bringing you more on that story. And for those who have joined us late, of course, that was talking about the separatist movement that has uh, been victorious now uh, in Quebec. And during the victory speech, there were shots. And one person, what we do know is that one person has been killed and at least one other person injured. And of course, we'll be bringing you more on that story as we get it in right here at Press TV. Well, continuing now with other parts of our World News Bulletin, the man in line to be China's next president calls off a meeting with the visiting U.S. Secretary of State. Now the cancellation comes as tensions grow between the two countries. Hillary Clinton was scheduled to meet with Vice President Xi Jinping on Wednesday. Now a U.S. State Department official claims the meeting 
was canceled because of unexpected scheduling reasons. Clinton faces mounting criticism in China for what Beijing describes as interference in the region. Clinton had earlier visited the Cook Islands and Indonesia. Now she's pushing to unite Southeastern Asian nations against China over territorial disputes.